how to execute a shell script using a command task in Informatica BDM and also how to get and validate the various output from a command task. Let's quickly check a sample workflow. In this workflow, I have a command task which is executing a shell command to find the latest inbound file in the Informatica source location. As you know, uh, there are three different types of output from a shell script. One is exit code. A successful command returns an exit code zero and anything other than zero is an error condition. And then standard error. This will retain the error message if any abnormal issue occurred in your script. And then the standard output. This will be the actual output from the shell script. In our case, the output will be the file name. Let's see how to capture these outputs from shell script and get it in the workflow level. If you see the command task property, you can see a placeholder for all these output in the command task output session. All we need to do is to create workflow variables and assign it here in the command task output to get the output from the shell script. As you see here, exit code, standard error, standard out and e successful. Everything is already here in the command task output. To create vari workflow variable, go to the workflow, properties, variable session and create the workflow variables like this and assign an initial value. The status, the status variable will hold the command task status and the initial value will be false and if it is get successful, it will be true. Exit code should be an integer. It will return either 0 or 1. Standard error and standard out. It can it should be an uh, string. I have a wrong type here, but it should be a string because it can contain the error message in the, in the string format. Same with the standard out. Once this is done, go to the command task output session and assign, assign the variable like this. So the status will hold that is successful exit code standard error and standard out as i said if the command has successfully executed that status will be true that's it now let's run this workflow if all goes well you will get exit code zero successful condition successfully executed and your inbound file name right the output of the script will be in the standard out variable and the standard error will be blank since no error. Suppose if any other issue occur while you execute the command task, the exit code will be one and you will get error message in the standard error variable. In case of any issue and if you want to debug and see the actual values in this variable, there is no option in the workflow. But still, you can use a notification task and display all variables like this in the notification task it will clearly display the values in the workflow variable in your email you can uh, configure the notification task something like this that will help you to debug debug the issue if you encounter anything with the command task hope you have a clear picture now how to use a command task and how to validate the output from a command task if you have any question please drop me an email. Thank you.